serious load hauling capability, ample organization features, and a durable and sturdy construction. The Osprey Zenith 105 is the perfect pack for the long distance heavy hauling backpacker. This combined with fit customization makes this pack great for every user. The pack is built on a light wire HD aluminum frame that is sturdy and strong while allowing for some flexibility. The innovative and super comfortable Bioform suspension system molds to the shape of the user after the first few long hikes. The shoulder straps and hip belt are also completely detachable for customization or easy cleaning. The lid of the pack can be completely removed and used as a day pack for quick summit assaults or day hikes. The pack has multiple access points that let you get to your gear from the top, bottom, or sides. Plenty of additional pockets on the front and sides of the pack provide ample organization. Let's take a closer look at the Osprey Zenith 105. The big story with the Osprey Zenith 105 is the suspension system and the frame and just how the pack carries a heavy load. So I'm gonna turn the pack around so we can take a look at that. And on the back side here, we have Osprey's Bioform suspension system. This is built on a really durable, rugged aluminum frame. So it's a much thicker frame than some of Osprey's other packs. So it's gonna provide that stability that you want under a heavy load. You've also got a frame sheet and a stay in the back panel that are gonna help to drive the weight down to the hips, the lower back portion where your center of gravity is. So it's got a lot of sturdy construction built right in. The harness and the hip belt are made of a really burly foam. You've got nice Neo Spacer mesh on the shoulder straps and the hip belt, which is gonna wick moisture and provide a lot of comfort and breathability and that Bioform hip belt is actually custom moldable. So you can take it to a local Osprey retailer with a custom molding oven, or you can wear the pack for a few long hikes and it'll actually break in and form to your shape. So it customizes the fit for the specific user. Along with that customization, you can actually completely detach the shoulder straps and the hip belt to swap them out for different sizes. So if you need a larger or smaller hip belt, you can easily swap that. The same can be said for the shoulder straps. With the shoulder straps as well, you actually have a range of adjustment with each different size. So on the shoulder straps, you've got these little markings here and there's some Velcro that attaches it. You can just break that Velcro, slide the harness up and down depending on where your torso measurement is and get that proper fit. So you really do have a lot of fit customization with the Zenith. On that back panel portion, you've got some really breathable spacer mesh, and you've got a few silicone uh, areas here as well, which are gonna provide really good grip. So occasionally with a heavy backpack, you may see that it's sliding down or it wants to sag a little bit. Those grip areas are really gonna help it stick to the back and prevent any slippage. So just some smart additional features built in with that back panel. Overall, really smart design, very comfortable, fully customizable giving you a really sturdy construction for those heavier loads. Some other features on the back panel, you've got hydration compatibility. So there's actually an external hydration compartment. So right where it says H2O here, you've got a little clip and that will kind of reveal your hydration sleeve. You can include any reservoir of your choosing in there. It's not included with the pack. They are sold separately, but certainly compatible. Down on the hip belt, we've also got a few pockets. So those hip belt pockets are great for smaller items like snacks, maybe a cell phone, a GPS unit, or anything you wanna keep there. And on the shoulder straps, you've actually got a pretty cool feature. Osprey's got this kind of weird bungee here. It's designed to be their stow on the go trekking pole attachment. So if you're using trekking poles, which we do recommend, you can easily stow them on your shoulder strap with this gear loop on the bottom side for a quick scramble or somewhere where you may need all four um, hands and feet. So you've got that stow on the go trekking pole attachment there, it's really nice. Turning the pack back around, we'll take a look at how we access all of our gear. You've actually got four different access points with the Zenith 105. So it is a traditional top loading pack. You do have a lid on the top here. You've got two buckles on the front, one on either side, which will release and let you throw that hood back. You've got a big spin drift collar up there that you can open up really easily and get to all the gear that you may have on the top of your pack. 
You've also got a sleeping bag compartment or a lower access point on the pack. So at the bottom, you've got two removable sleeping pad straps and behind those, you've got your sleeping bag compartment zipper. And it is divided, so you do have a divider on the inside. You can drop that if you want to or you can have that separation, but it's really easy to access your sleeping bag from that bottom compartment. That's generally what that's used for. Also, on top of that top and bottom access, you've got side access with the Zenith 105. So on each side of the pack, you've actually got kind of a crescent shaped zipper and that allows access from the sides to get to all those middle contents. And you've got one of those zippers on both sides of the pack. So yes, it's gonna add a little weight to the pack, but the convenience that it gives you is unmatched. So you can easily get to any gear you may have on the side of your pack right from those pockets and they do extend pretty far down the front so you can really dig in there nice and easily. On top of all those access points you have quite a few organizational pockets. On the lid of the pack you've got two pockets, big pocket and a little pocket, great for maps, great for extra items, layers, snacks, first aid kits, things like that. You can also completely remove the lid and use it as a lumbar pack. There is a padded uh, back panel or a lower back panel portion and there are straps tucked away in that lid So once you remove it completely you can strap it around your waist and go for a quick day hike or hit the summit of a nearby peak It's a really convenient feature to have that detachable lid day pack You've also got pockets on the front. You've got two water resistant zipper pockets. They're pretty deep pockets You can store filters in there stoves lightweight sleeping pads any gear that you may need to you can store it right in those front pockets. It's really convenient. And you've got a front stretch mesh pocket. I've got just an extra layer in there. Great for rain jackets or other wet items, things you may wanna just shove in there and access pretty quickly. And you've got your traditional water bottle pockets on the sides. So you do have those stretch mesh pockets. And one of the convenient features to those stretch mesh pockets is you've got access from the top. You can put things in the standard way. You've also got access from the back, so you can stick your water bottle in at an angle and have a much easier time getting to it while you're hiking on the trail. Just adds a lot of convenience to that feature. With those, you've got bottom and top compression straps. We've got gear loops and bungee tie-offs on the front. And you've got just tons of features on this pack that are gonna make it great for those heavy hauling, long distance backpacking trips. It is the Osprey Zenith 105. Thanks for watching. If you have any additional questions about the gear that you just saw, feel free to visit backcountryedge.com to get in touch with me or one of our other gear specialists. We have detailed product descriptions and specs, and often for a lot of our products, we have additional bonus videos. And if you like what we do here on YouTube, please subscribe.